Hello Libra and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Thank you Libras for joining me. I'm super excited to do your reading. I will be doing your tarot reading today or whether to stay or leave. I'll be pulling out cards for you, your other person and we'll be pulling out cards for the outcome. What is the guidance? What is the clarity here? So Libra, let's get started. I will be using the Easy Tarot and the Grand Tarot Lux. I only recommend the best. I look at the size. I look at the imagery. It needs to be clear. I need to be able to interpret these cards. And not just that, have a really good connection with my intuition to be able to read for you, Libra, to give you a very accurate reading. So if you wish to purchase your own deck, that's down below in the description box. Also, our Tarot Master course will go live this month. It is self-paced. You can download videos, workbooks. You will be taught by myself and Fifi, and you will understand everything you need to know about tarot, each card, the spreads, interpreting the cards. If you wish to be part of our early bird discount, please email us your interest at fifi at ggtarot at gmail.com, and you will be notified when our course is ready and live. Excellent. And lastly, for those who are new, welcome. Welcome. My name is Gigi. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because every week you get two readings. You will find out a lot with two readings and you'll get clarity and a bonus weekend reading. So let's get started, please. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Underneath the deck, we do have the five of pentacles here. The five pentacles, the big energy here is rejection here. Someone rejecting you or you rejecting someone, someone missing in action, being blocked, ghosted, unfortunately. It also um, has to do with um, money hemorrhaging somewhere. There could be money loss. There could be some form of money going somewhere. It could go towards, for example, people at, at the moment experiencing separation or divorce, so paying lawyers, divorce proceedings. Yeah, definitely has to do with some form of engagement, some form of marriage here. But we do have a brand new beginning happening here with the Ace of Pentacles here. Awesome. Well, we'll put this here for now. So, Libra, let's have a look at your cards, please. Energy we do have. Excellent. The Six of Cups here. Let's have a look at you. The Three of Swords. The other person. The Page of Cups here. The big energy here, Libra, start to connect with your inner child. And I can already see with you, with the Three of Swords, you've gone through a lot. No doubt about that. You, you've, you've had a lot happening. Even in the past, even right now, things are tough. Start communicating, start connecting with your inner child. Start to have more fun. Surround yourself with family, friends. Do not be surrounded with negativity, things that will trigger you, things that will make you sad, please. It's super important to start having more fun because I can clearly see that you're heartbroken. We look at this card, it speaks volume, doesn't it? The Three of Swords, not my favorite card, not anyone's favorite card, because the Three of Cards does indicate heartbreak. There's heartbreak. Now, the Three does show there could have been a third party intrusion. Someone that you don't know, they could have been cheating. Not necessarily. It doesn't always indicate cheating. There could have been family members, in-laws getting involved in your relationship. There could have been friends, the um, deceit, the betrayal of friends here, co-workers, or your person was probably too dedicated to their work, not giving you the emotional attention, not being there, not being present there. And the thing is, when we do have the Three of Swords, Nobody wins. No one. Everyone gets hurt in the end with the Three of Swords, unfortunately. And if I look at your person, oh, they're being represented as the Page of Cups here. So this person is probably um, younger than you or acting a lot younger than you too. Not acting like an adult here. They're probably acting a little bit younger than their age, more like a childish kind of um, behavior here not taking enough responsibility, and they may have tried to reach out to you, to message you, apologize, say that I love you, I'm sorry, perhaps. 
but there has been uh, messages, communication. This person has tried to, in other words, express their actions to really say, um, explain their actions, to say why, why did certain events happen. Let's have a look at their intention, please. Another page, page of pen, uh, page of wands, the beating heart of the reading. We have the sun. Awesome. What is their action? Well, they're really going to step up. The knight of swords here. So this person does have good intention. They definitely want to reach out. They want more communication because this person feels passion towards you still. This person still has that love for you, definitely. Excuse me. This, there's definitely feelings there for you. This person hasn't lost their feelings. We also have the sun. Beautiful, very blissful card here. The sun versus the blow of any negativity around in this reading, which is the three of swords. Do not worry, your heart will heal here. Now, again, the sun does show you could be thinking about traveling to a hot and sunny place, going somewhere where it's quite warm too. This is also the return of health here, the return of your mental health here. So if emotions have been running high here, do not worry. It will be okay here. Now, this person, what is their actions? Well, they're definitely going to take action with the Knight of Wands here. It will be a call to action. So a call to action can be something like, do you want to be with me? I want you back. Will you take me back? For example, here. And you will be required to make a decision here. What is it that you need to know, Libra? We need, okay, so we'd have the 10. We have the 10 of pentacles here. It's a good card. The near future, the nine of pentacles, the outcome, hmm, five of wands here. So what is it that you need to know here? This person will be reaching out, yes. and. You need to start thinking about what do you want, Libra, long term. Because as you can see, this person is saving up money here. So I need you to be honest. I need you to ask yourself, what are your values versus this person's values here? You may have strong values of loyalty, family, while the person might have loyalties of partying, going out. See how things do not match here. So if this person does reach out to you, it's very important to have a conversation about values. Be honest. What is it that you want? What is it that this person wants? Because you can have feelings for one another, but you can have you can have wants. Your wants may be completely the opposite, completely different. So it's super important to have that discussion here. And I do feel that this person does want something long-term with you. Because again, the Ten of Pentacles, we are saving. We're putting money away here. So please have that conversation. In the near future, so we do have, excellent, the Nine of Pentacles. Libra, this is the card of celebration of you. Celebrating you, your life, everything that you have accomplished here. In fact, in the near future, I want you to put yourself up on a pedestal. This is not about an ego thing being egotistic. No, no, no. This is about self-love, being kind to yourself, rewarding yourself for all your hard work. Let's be honest. This person is surrounded by pentacles. So I have a feeling that you're also, uh, you work, you have a career, you're doing a lot of things. You deserve, I'm going to say you deserve a pat on the back, but you deserve more than that to buy yourself something, to treat yourself something, to reward yourself with something. It's very important that this, this has come out for a reason, rewarding yourself, celebrating who you are. Please do not let people bring you down for whatever reason, for whatever reason you lack or don't have. There's a reason why this has come out here. Someone rejecting your values, someone rejecting who you are. No, I'm, going, I'm here to remind you, Libra, that you are unique. You are here for a reason. Whether it's with this person or with another person, every time I see the Nine of Pentacles, it's a celebration. Now, usually this card does show that the person is single too. But when you're single though, it's super important to celebrate yourself. 
celebrate. It's it's the nine. Take the nine of pentacles as a celebration of your life. Super important. Now the outcome. The outcome does show arguments, fights. It shows that there is a lot of finger pointing, harsh words being exchanged here, competition even, competitive competition. And look, can you get past these arguments? We do have the sun. We have the sun as the beating heart of the, re the reading. Sometimes, and like I said before, I spoke about your values here. It's also talking about boundaries. It's about talking about the things that you will no longer tolerate. It's like putting your foot down. You need to put your foot down because again, this person might resist. This person could probably resist and saying, well, what do you mean I can't go out anymore? Well, what do you mean I cannot, I cannot party anymore or see my friends? There has to be some sort of compromisation, some sort of negotiation here to get past this five of wands. But we're going to get some clarification cards to see, can we get past these five of wands? So Let's shuffle these cards. Let's understand the situation even further, please. Okay. Excellent. So Libra, the six of cups has been confirmed with the lovers. Yeah. So I, I do feel that you even started off as the perfect fairy tale here. Both of you are like joined to the hip here, match and mirror in each other. But again, like I said before, you need to start communicating with your inner child here. You need to start having more fun. Even start to um, just think about the hobbies, things that you love to do. Even start to think about the things that you used to love doing with your partner too. What were your hobbies? What were your interests? It's time to reconnect with those hobbies again. The Three of Swords. Why do we have the Three of Swords? Okay, so moving on. Moving away from turbulent times. Now, this could necessarily mean moving away from this person temporarily or moving away from the troubled times. So moving into calmer waters, now you're taking the swords with you in this boat. But you're, what that actually means, a lot of people do not know, you're taking the wisdom, the knowledge, and the experience with you. So even though, yes, there has been hurt um, with the Three of Swords, you've taken a lot of knowledge with it and life experience. It, this has been an experience for you. Now you know what to look out for. Now you know if someone's you know, trying to give you a bit of BS. With the Six of Wands, it's like moving away from the Three of Swords. You're moving away from that heartbreak. Your person, the Page of Cups, Three of Wands here. So they're actually waiting for you to reach out to them also. They're hoping. It's like they it's like they messaged you and now they're waiting. They're waiting. Libra, are you going to message me back? Libra, are you going to contact me? Are you going to reach out? You're taking your sweet time. Absolutely. I know you are. Libra, because it's like you're the ship here. You're you're you are going to reach out. Yes, absolutely. You're going to reach out, but it won't be straight away. You will take your sweet time. It's not like you're gonna grab your phone. It's like, oh, okay. No, you will reach out, you will respond when you are ready. This person's intentions with the page of wands, two of pentacles, they're struggling, yeah. They're afraid. What if I lose, Libra? What if this happens? So they're a little bit, they're like juggling at the moment. It's a juggling act because they still love you. They still have quite a bit of um, feelings for you still. But at the same at the same time, this person is juggling in the sense of what if I'm single? What if um, I go back with Libra? It, it's difficult. With the sun, yeah, the ten of swords. I was waiting for this card to come out. I didn't want to say it, but the ten of swords is when you hit rock bottom. There's been deceit, betrayal, awful endings, awful separations. It, there's been some sort of secret exposed. 
there's been um yeah trust has been violated here but the thing is when we do see the 10 of swords it's the end of a cycle it rolls over to the ace of swords here now the fact that it has landed on the sun do not worry, the sun will lessen the blow of the Ten of Swords. In other words, it's going to help you and this person to progress, to move forward now, not to be so stuck in the past, not to be so stuck with negative thoughts. Um, your person's actions with the Knight of Wands, oh, they're full, they're willing to take a chance. They do not care whether it backfires or whether they look stupid. No, they will take definitely take that leap of faith. They will take that chance. But what, is it, what else do you need to know with the Ten of Pentacles? Wheel of Fortune. Excellent. So from being at the bottom of the wheel. So when I say being at the bottom of the wheel, it's like being like the Ten of Swords. They're going to start moving on top of the wheel. The Wheel of Fortune, again, it's like having luck. Things are going to go so much smoother for you. Things are going to start improving around you, including your thoughts, like having negative thoughts. No. You're going to start really appreciating yourself. You're going to start, why am I thinking about this? Why am I always so sad? That's going to move on because you're going to start thinking about your own values, your priorities, um, boundaries too. You're going to think, oh, why am I tolerating this? Why am I putting up with this? I can do better now. Now, the Nine of Pentacles, I love that card. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups, beautiful. True love. Interesting. That's like a singles card, but there's true love. That's beautiful. What about, now I'm going to get back to this and I'll explain why. The five of wands. The five of cups. Disappointments. You put your heart and soul into this relationship, but yet you're still disappointed. There's love somewhere else. There's happiness somewhere else because it's two cups behind you. I'm going to be honest, Libra, you have the singles card. And I feel that this person that you're dealing with, they want to reach out, they want to do, they want to really do everything they can to win you back. But ultimately, in the end, I feel like you're going to fly solo. And flying solo leads to brand new love, true love. It's next to the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups, there are two cups behind you. This means that there is happiness somewhere else. If anything, getting back with this person is just going to cause lots of arguments. You're going to actually try with this person. You're going to see for yourself. It's like, okay, I'm going to give this person another chance. Let's see how this goes. Ultimately, somehow they still manage to disappoint you. They still manage to go to their old ways and disappoint you. Have they changed? No, <laughs> no, they haven't. That's why they're being represented as the Page of Cups. This person hasn't grown up. This person thinks they have. They haven't. Not at all. They're showing a very strong front, like the Knight of Wands. But ultimately, they're acting like a fool, if anything. That's what I'm picking up with this person. If anything, like I said before, the celebration of your life is going to lead to the Two of Cups here. Something way better. Last card, you have the Queen of Cups here. It's very, very super important to start nurturing yourself. Very important to nurture. How are you nurturing yourself? Because at the moment, see the lightning near her head here? Be very careful with your thoughts. If this, um, if this person has said to you many times, you're not good enough, you're not this, you don't earn enough money, I don't care in the end, Libra, how much money you make, where you live. I don't care about that. In the end, I care about how you see yourself, how you pick yourself up. Because many times you're going to fall down. Yeah, you're going to get knocked out. You're not going to be knocked down though. Okay. You're going to get up. You're going to resurrect. You're going to celebrate your life. You're going to take care of yourself. If anything, you're going to put yourself first above anything else. You're going to really take care of yourself. You're going to take charge of your life. And ultimately, you're going to be in the position of power. Ultimately, you will decide what will happen next. So this reading is definitely 100% power to you now. Libra, I hope this reading has given you lots of clarity. Thank you so much for joining me. I thoroughly enjoyed. This was quite an inspiration for me. It's showing me your perseverance and your resilience that you have. Libra, I love this. 
Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.